Pete! 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 I'm actually not high maintenance. Assume. Bad. These girls have got my back. <laughs> it's common. It happens. It's the way they were born. Ready? <laughs> you alright? What? <laughs> You're just strolling in in a baby grow. <laughs> God. Is that acceptable? What? This is like comfy that... loungewear? Absolute knob. <laughs> a comfy loungewear? <laughs> Onesie. I've never seen, not in all our in all our years together, have you strolled in and the baby grows if it's normal? <laughs> because it's new. <laughs> is it? Yeah, I wear them in black, but you just don't obviously <laughs> notice. I do notice. No, listen, I, I'm here for it. Anything that hugs your figure nicely, I, I'm into, but <laughs> it's just a baby grow. I wasn't expecting it. In this, at the after, in the afternoon, well, it's like great it though, babe. Nice, nice ice grey. It's just a comfy, 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 comfy. Stunning. All good. I just. And you could shut up, Ross. Just <laughs> laughing at me as I enter the room. It's not good for one's confidence. Or you know, this is the therapy crowd. We should be. I'm laughing with you, like, yeah. each other. We should be empowering each other, not taking the absolute pee. Listen, with a figure like that, babe, you can wear a baby grow any time of day. Cheers. <laughs> All right, well, we're firing, eh? Um, mm. Hello and welcome to the Therapy Crouch with me, Peter Crouch, and the beautiful... Abby Clancy. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, we're going to take you through a uh, therapy, uh, therapy session. Um, How's the week been, guys? What have you been up to? Oh, we've had a great week this week. Busy, as usual. Yeah, busy, yeah. Football's back. I've been doing, I've, I've been doing the football quite a bit, haven't I? Mm. Yeah, we've, yeah, we've had a great week. Busy. Pete's been doing Champions League. I've been busy with the kids. Um... Been on a bit of a health kick this week. Oh, I. Um, actually, I can't even hold the mic in this hand. Um, how is your arm? Abs, abs broke her arm as well. Forgot to mention that. How did you manage that? Um, in boxing, <laughs> I um broke my arm. Broke Was... her arm. She literally came out. Pete, I broke my arm. It's like <laughs> just look that broken to me. No, honestly, it's swollen. I can't even really use it that well. I had an X-ray. And it's it's not broken, but it feels broken. So I'm just t- taking Thank it. Thank God, it's not broken. Yeah, I've I... had a, I've had a sling on all week. <laughs> so when you were a kid and you used to love just going into school, the sling on. I, I used to always do that. Did you? Uh, yeah. Like why when you're a kid, you always have a sling. Like and you love that, a bandage. As soon as, as soon as you're an adult, you just don't have a sling ever, do you? Yeah, our kid, our Lib loves like if I like we go in like the bandage box and Lib will go like just decide one day can I wear a bandage for school on her arm. Or ankle. So, yeah, I've had my bandage on all week, but kind of annoying because it's stopped me in my tracks on my health kick. So, that lasted a day. Um, but no, it's, it's it's been a good week and I'm excited to get back on the couch. I, I love I love these days. Mm, same. We're all enjoying it now, aren't we? You know, we're in the swing of things and um, these are, I look forward to these, these sessions. It's relaxing. It is relaxing. Anything that has pissed me off this week? You know, do you want to get into the wine club now? You haven't get into the wine club. Where's the wine? Okay. Oh, nice uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Mm. This, this, uh, I thought this we weren't drinking till Dublin anyway. Well, we're not, but this is we've started this game now. We've, <laughs> <laughs> we've got to finish it. Um, to the cars. Cheers, babe. Uh, all right, we'll get, get, get it off your chest first. You okay, you you go first. <sighs> it's not it's not necessarily about you, but it's about I suppose it's about your organisation of the room. Um, Excuse me. It's sorry. I, I just need to stop you right there. <laughs> I spend my life organising things. Yeah, but this you've let yourself down on this occasion. Um, just because it's the cats. It's the cats oh, yeah. are in our bedroom. Um, the dogs downstairs. I get that, but you've put the, the like a, a litter tray and a food and water in our bedroom. So. You know, whatever happens in our bedroom, you know, if, I'm, if we're relaxing, um, you know, in the sleeping. bath, sleeping, <laughs> sleeping. You know, there might be the odd, there might be the odd occasion where, you know, things may progress. We're bonking and, to a beat. Um, well, it always seems to be like when you're doing any of those things, I hear the rustling of stones and you just... I would never have sex in front of our cat. Let's just put it well, out Was that there. why you put them in the bedroom? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Honestly, every time you just you <laughs> hear this to them, rustling, me? this this like rustling of stones, and you just think to yourself, "Cat's having a shit." You just get, <laughs> and you know it's having a shit. Tss. You can hear the noises and all that. It's like, of all things, the bedroom's the sanctuary. Mm. 
Why is a cat shitting in, in, in bed next to me, in the bedroom next to me? I've just told you why. Dad, you, how many? We've got a lot of room. We've got room, we've got, we've got room. Oh, sorry. Is that, is that true? <laughs> I'm joking. No, um, our cats are 16. We've had them since it, since we got together. And they're really old. Like, baby doesn't even go out now. She can barely walk because she's just a greedy bitch. All she does is eat and sleep. She just sits there. And they're terrified of the dog so they don't come downstairs. And I just thought our bathroom would be... Well, they never used to have a litter tray. They used to go always go outside. They're outside. To go for the loo. They're not like house cats, are they? So why no, they, they go outside for the loo. But I think just getting up and down the stairs is too much for baby now. So I had no choice but to put the litter tray in our bathroom. But we're getting the bathroom done now, so it's like a building site. So the litter tray's in our room, and I know it sounds disgusting and unhygienic, but it's not like I leave the litter tray with excrement in it as soon as it's. As soon as they go the loo, it's changed. It's not just like poos and weeds. I'm just watching Netflix, you know, like reasonably like chilled and there's a hot steaming shit <laughs> literally <laughs> next to me in the bedroom. You know, what what the worst thing Absolutely is... Absolutely horrific. You know, they, they'll like, you can hear them like rustling around in the um, cat litter. Then they'll jump our bed and then you'll hear... <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll just vomit wow. a full hairball oh, on our hairball. bed. It's just outrageous. And you just think... You know, I love my animals so much. But I, su I suppose it's almost like having a baby where they can't, you know, go to the toilet for themselves. And then the opposite end of that scale is like a pensioner who becomes, incon are, becomes incontinent. But they've been so, out for all their lives, haven't they? They've been out. Yeah, Maggie just... doesn't do it. It's only baby. It's like, and, you know, Pete's got more of an issue with me because he's obviously not as keen animal lover as me. Like, I, I rescued a dog this, this yesterday. Actually, why? That was a bad one. I, I just walked in. There was a random dog, blind dog, in, a, in, in our kitchen. <laughs> I was chip. like, "What have we got now? What's going on?" Yeah, so, play. You, re you know, rescued it, didn't you? Yeah. So I was, I was coming home, and I just saw this little like brown figure in the road, and I was like, "Oh my god, what's that?" So this little dog was visibly distressed. He was shaking, and his eyes were like covered in cataracts. You could tell he was blind, and he was mm. an old dog. It said Martin on this name tag. So I was like, "That's his dog, Martin." Martin is trying to bite me. So I was I was terrified. And then one of the neighbors drove past and it was this guy in the car. And I was like, can you help me with this dog? I said, I really want to help it, but I'm scared that it's going to bite me. And the guy was terrified. He wouldn't get out of the car. And I was like, it's a fucking chihuahua. Like, I, I know I'm scared, but I'm a girl. Like, you're a man. You should just help me with this dog and like be a Viking and just grab it. Or You know what I mean? Be more rip. He reluctantly be more rip. He relu reluctantly got out the car and stood there and done nothing. But anyway, a bit more Vin Diesel. <laughs> yeah, a bit more Vin Diesel. So I got this little dog. Managed to call the number on 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 its um, tag, and the woman was hysterical on the phone. She was like, "Oh my god, I lost him in in um, in the woods at one o'clock. It was now five o'clock." And she was like, "Thank you so much." So got a lead from my house, put him on the lead, and brought him home. And he made friends with my dog. But I just. I just, I felt so proud of myself. Yeah, no, that's a good, good deed for the day. You know, because we've lost a dog before. Oh, it's heartbreaking. They're part of the family, aren't they? Yeah, well, my mum's dog went missing and then got ran over and killed. Didn't have a, 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 a good ending, but it was so traumatic. And th this woman, when she came to the house, she was like hugging me and crying. And it was just, I felt amazing. No, so, good deed. Good deed done there. Yeah, so that was nice. Um, but you are getting away from the uh, subject. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but it's not my it's not my fault. What do you want to do? No, it's amazing what you've done there, but um What do you want me to do about it? I think we need to move the cat litter tray somewhere. Well, when the bathroom's done, it can go back in the bathroom. It's lovely having a nice relaxing bath with the aroma of cat shit. <laughs> Tremendous, honestly. Yeah. These no, animals. Um, you know what's gonna happen when the kids no all grow up and all that? No diptyque fragrance can mask that one. <laughs> You know, when the kids are all grown up, you, you're gonna you're gonna get like animals that are gonna tie us on you to to home. Mm. I'm getting I'm getting libid puppy for a birthday no. anyway. I am. You're not because I'm gonna put my foot down. Like, very often, not very often I do that. But... Baby's not the fifties. <laughs> I can do what I want. No, it's, I'm the man of this house. <laughs> I'm the captain of this ship, <laughs> master. We'll see when he's like, "Oh, it's so cute," and he's like, "Come on, Papa! Come on, Papa!" 
It's happening. So um, happy with the resolution to that wine, Peter? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, we'll just move it out. I'll move it back in and yeah. then we'll just continue I to live like that. I don't want it in the room. Let's just be clear here. Well, why have we got it in the room then? It's, it's bad. Ridiculous. Well, my, it's just my, I love my carpet, don't I? I don't want any crap on my carpet. So I just thought the marble would be a better place for it to go on as opposed to carpet because sometimes they don't quite make the litter tray and if it's on the cream carpet then you're screwed yeah okay I don't, I don't feel like we resolved that but um... cheers cheers anyway <laughs> I feel like this weekly wine club is just a bit like let's just drink throughout our pod <laughs> well it gets us loose <laughs> do you know what like doing that wine club there we've got so many people have sent in some incredible wines yeah. about Come their on. husbands so about mainly their about husbands. the husbands. Yeah. I was just going to say, uh, all honestly, about their husbands. Well, no, no, there's a few. There's a few from men as well, but they're mainly, they're mainly from women. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to pigeonhole us all to be moaners? Yeah, the, the listeners have sent in some wines, some good ones here. Uh, here's the first one. Hi, I love the pod. My wine is my boyfriend never compliments me. Only criticizes. Hey, he only criticizes everything. I get my hair, my nails done, always make an effort. He mm. only comments mm-hmm. when he doesn't like something. Why Amen. Are you, why are you amening amen, amen this? Are you joking? You get compliments all the time, constantly. So you but think no, it- I haven't finished the email. If we go out... <laughs> <laughs> if we go out, I get dressed up and nothing. I'm not asking... Don't be nodding your head like that. I don't... What, did you, I'm going to come, I'll come common, back to you. It's a common problem. I'm not asking to be complimented constantly. The odd nice comment would be nice occasionally. We've been together for six years and it's getting worse. Once in the last two years, he said something positive. It's from Anon, <laughs> Spanish. Got this Anon, sir. So many from Anon. Bit of a, uh, bit of a question hogger. <laughs> no, you know what? I give you con- compliments all the time. Like, no, you don't. All the time. I've just walked in. You laughed in my <laughs> yeah. face. Yeah, but you had a baby grow on. That's not my fault. No, I constantly, I say to you, you, even on this podcast, I've said you're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. So shut up, Pete. You always have something like negative. You never go, thanks. <laughs> Literally everything I say, oh, it's your bullshit. eyes are gorgeous. You're a liar. I always, when every time I compliment you, you shoot me down with, with something. So I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Constantly getting in trouble. No, um, I, I think this is a um, a common problem, ain't on. Um, it's it's just annoying. Like I think it is to do with like being with someone for a certain amount of time. Like they forget like how good looking we are. <laughs> <laughs> No, they forget, like, you know, because you're just used to each other. No, I, you know, I, if you went I on a first like date, you'd be like, oh, you. like, if, 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 if you walked into the room and I didn't know you, I'd be like, ooh, or, and vice versa. But I think when you're with someone every single day, you kind of forget to do that. I think it's so important to compliment each other. I always compliment you. But I, what did I, I say to you yesterday in the car? Do you remember? You look gorgeous today. It puts a little smile on your face. It really does. It really does. Spring in your step. It, it, it little does. Little spring it in does. his step. I remember, I remember he goes, it was... see him like that in the mirror. <laughs> Still got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do. And Still I like that. It. Makes it's me a, happy. It's a lovely thing, I think. You know, to But cause... it is annoying when you're like getting ready to go out and you come down and you're like, you've been getting ready for like an hour. And they come down and like, you're like, hurry up, will ya? Not like, oh, you look amazing, babe. I don't think I've ever done that. Like, I might, I might be rushing you, but... Every time you come down, I always say to you, you look gorgeous, you know, unless you don't. No, yesterday you said to me, what are them shoes you're wearing? Do you remember? <laughs> the Birkenstocks? <laughs> the man repellers? <laughs> you were like, oh God, what are they? <laughs> Pete just wants me to wear like a strappy platform, like at all times. Is that an exact quote? <laughs> yeah, do you know what I mean? A strappy platform. <laughs> no, no, I don't. I think I compliment you. Is what I'm, I'm a fleece dressing gown. You're always ripping me for that. Do you know I threw three of them away today in the bin? I don't do that. Listen, I'm, not, I don't, I'm only joking with that. You know, I'm only joking. I don't mind you, you the fleece dressing gown. It's my blankie. Yeah, it's nice. Um, do you want to hear another wine? Yeah. Uh, yeah. My wine of the week relates to my boyfriend's clothes, although the four is a common theme here, isn't there? Like, <laughs> do you, do these, your... these girls have got my back. <laughs> it's common. It happens. It's the way they were born. As the men can't be asked, 
they listen to him and they can't be asked to email him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, I got loads of ones. I just can't be bothered to email. <laughs> yeah, or it's or it'll be like, that's oh, okay. I've got yeah. a wine, but then he'll I've forget about it. I'll deal with it. Ten minutes later. Um, we've been living together for about two years, and upon moving in, I bought him a man basket. Basically a basket where he Masket? can put all his shit in and can sort when he has a moment. Basically, so somewhat looks slightly more aesthetically pleasing. Instead, he chucks his clothes on the floor right next to the basket. I'm confused and also worried. We are two years in and he still doesn't understand the concept of a basket. One that I was so kind to even introduce to him in the first place. Mm. So if she's bought him a man basket. He throws his clothes near the basket. That is something that a lot of men do. I remember my dad doing it. My mum going mad at him for You it. do it as well. And it's, and I, it's like the dishwasher. They just leave it on the top, take it from the table <laughs> to the dishwasher, but doesn't put it in. Like, it's just blows my mind. Do you know my thinking behind that It's like well? watching half a film. Just turn it off. <laughs> my thinking behind that as well is like when I um, take the plate from the no, table. No, because you're scared in case the dishwasher's clean and needs emptying. <laughs> I reckon. And you're like, no, oh I'll, shit, I'll I'm leave, not going to empty that. I'll leave it on the side. And exact opposite. I'll be so proud of myself. I'll be like... Pfft. Done that for you. <laughs> oh, God. I'm good. I'm good to it. A massive grin on my face. Like, sometimes I even, like, rinse it a bit. I rinse it. Rinse and I'll put it next to the dishwasher and go, like... you've rinsed is me. <laughs> I'll put it next to the dishwasher and go, like, got you, babe. I've done that for you. Lazy twat. Thank me, Lisa. <laughs> I've done that for you. I am... Um, that is poor, yeah. That's, I agree with that. That's, I don't know why men do that. I don't know why they can't finish the job. You throw it sort of near the basket. It's poor, really. Mm. I agree with that. Any more wines? Yeah, my girlfriend moans. Here we go. Here's Kyle. Here he is. Hey. Come on, son. My girlfriend moans at me to save money and keeps on and on. <laughs> but then decides to book weekends to Milan and Iceland, even though we have four other holidays booked this year. How do I stop this crazy lady? My pockets are going to be empty out there. <laughs> I tell him to get another job. <laughs> how, would you, how would you help this Stop brand? being selfish, hey. Kyle, and get another job and work harder. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is, this is hard on Kyle, this. Like, she says you've got to be sensible with money, but she's booking holidays constantly. How, how do you rein in? It's like race day, Jack. Remember? I'm mm. not the person to ask on this one, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> And neither am I. I've got a shop I've, I haven't got the answers. <laughs> I've been trying to rein you in for 16 years. Yeah, but at least she's trying to do something for both of them. He's probably just trying to spend it on like going to the pub or something. It's a difficult one, that, isn't it? I think it's mm. a difficult one to navigate. Um, in my experience, any spare bit of money spent on an experience is well spent. I told you, were, you that. We were, you uh, that is literally say- my quote. Oh my god, you have never said them words to me. Oh my god, you times- might, you might, you you might have said, "Oh, I'd prefer to spend my money on a trip," but you have never said You're that. You're repeating my no, words. No, because I've changed you. it because you would never remember what jumper you bought, but you would remember that time you walked up the Spanish steps. I can't believe that. I cannot believe you're saying that. He's like, a weird you, that is literally what I say to you. I say you're spending the money on things that don't matter when you can go and have an experience and a memory forever. Like, it's holidays and that kind of thing. It's like, always been what I enjoy. And I said to you, like, why don't I have What to things have... are you referring to? Well, clothes or, you know, cars or... I'm talking I haven't about... even got a car. I'm talking about, like... <laughs> I've got a car, but, like, not one that I'd say, oh, I've got a car. I'm not bothered no, with cars. Things, you know, like jewellery. I haven't instance. got any jewellery like, jewelry, I'm totally... I am totally against jewellery. Yeah, think I know that. Nonsense. God. It's a load of nonsense. <laughs> it's like... Don't I know it? <laughs> Don't I absolutely know it? It's, it's like complete nonsense though, to isn't it? to Claire's every week just to get me something. <laughs> I threw on with Claire's. It's a load of nonsense. I think you can have, you know, get a nice watch. Yeah, right, great. But you don't need 20 watches. Get a nice ring. Great. You don't need like 20 rings. I don't think you need 20 watches, but you do need 20 rings. You don't at all. You've only got 10 fingers. You, you, you don't. <laughs> yeah, two on each finger. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't get it personally. Yeah, but I just that, think, you I can't, just, think, just because you so don't like jewellery, you can't say it's it's rubbish. It's like, for me, I think having golf clubs is stupid. 
No, but think of the enjoyment. I can travel the world. Well, you play can't. Different golf courses. You've had your golf all trips you can this do year. with a ring is put it on your finger. That is literally what you can like do with it. And get like this all day. All right. Good luck, Carl. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know who this is from here, but I wonder if any other people have this issue. So I'll dish up my dinner. And if my husband is doing something, I'll say your dinner's on the side. He'll stroll into the kitchen and be like, is this mine here? Like, who else is it going to be for? <laughs> Uh, no, Dan, oh. that's not yours. I made myself two dinners and left yours, your raw ingredients in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> he does this with any oh, kind of situation. I hear this. And that I honestly hear this. makes me rage for some reason. I could absolutely <laughs> kill you when you say things like that. How many times have I said to you, Pete, just stop a second and. I just... hate that when you do that. Yeah. Oh my it's God. It's just this. stop you so. I go, stop saying. I go to just stop, babe, for one second. You treat me like a three-year-old. You know, and well, think like, about, stop. think about what you've just asked me. <laughs> you know that, right? So, for instance, this dinner thing. <laughs> this do, one, do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So, I would do that, but do you know why? Because I'm about to say, you know, is this mine here? It's just a, it's just a thing to say. Like, a I know that, bit of conversation. I know that's mine, but I'm gonna, I want to say you'd say, yeah, that's yours, and then I can say, oh, thanks for that. It's that's so nice of you to make that. Thank you. That's what I would say. That's why I would say it. I would. I know it's mine, but I'm saying it so then I can say, "Oh, that's so nice of you to do that." Okay, so let's change this then. So if I'm like Pete, um, do you mind putting these bags in the car? And then we'll walk into the hall or something. These you'll, bags uh, here. And then you'll go, um, "Are these bags supposed to go in the car?" I love this. <laughs> accent. This is my voice. <laughs> and then I'm like, "Yes, Pete. I've just told you that." <laughs> You're like, so would you go? Thank you for reminding me, darling. <laughs> so your theory doesn't it's work. Just, it's, it's, a, it's just a something that you just do. Do you know what I mean? You just go, um, these bags here, like, I'm saying it basically to myself. Well, keep it to yourself, future. <laughs> I don't so know why funny. that annoys women. It's ridiculous. It, it, it like, annoys oh, anyone. These bags here, it's just, it's just a... It's just thing. Filler conversation, just a filler. isn't it? You, you know just know fill in the gaps. You know, like you say, I take these bins, are these ones here? No, Pete, no, the ones that are on the fucking roof. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you have to do? You That's know. literally what I'd say to you. I'm you would say that, like, I know. Pete, can you take the bins out? Uh, what, these ones that are full to the brim. What is this? What no, Pete, the, the, em the empty bins, babe. Can you take the empty bins out? <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> Infuriates me. I'm totally with her. I know it does. I just don't understand why you would get so aggressive Because my dad that. would never say that. He's so switched I know on. loads of men that say that. He would say that. My he dad said, wouldn't. These bins. So My dad wouldn't even be asked. Could you take the bins out? And he just went, oh, these bins here. Like, no. it's just You're just saying it to yourself. My dad wouldn't even ask to put the bins out because he's so on it. He just know to do it. Like, he's like a real man in that sense. <laughs> a real man. <laughs> Oh my god! Do you know what Sue? She wouldn't. She wouldn't give him grief. That's why he takes them out. You know, she she would. Ju he would just go and take them out on his way to the pub. Yeah, on his way to the pub. Yeah. <laughs> no, I. I've never asked you to take the bins out, really. But if I have, like, if we've had a party or something, they're overflowing. I'm like, Pete, before you go, I say deep Pete, here. Pete, before you go to golf for the fifth time this week, can you? Um, do you mind taking? Time. Do you mind taking these bins out? And be like. Of course, babe. What bins is that? <laughs> what is that face and voice you keep doing? It's so gormless. To... <laughs> Do you know how derogatory that is? Do you know how I know, but I, lo I like that, doing that it. I like is... doing it because it winds you up. <laughs> Go on, do me again. Babe, do you mind taking them bins out, please? Sorry, babe. What bins are they? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, babe. That is outrageous. I like it. But you, you are quite... Do you want me to do you? Yeah, go on. Pete! 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 <laughs> Can you take the bins out, please? <laughs> do you remember when the lights went off? Like, the electricity <laughs> went when we were in that villa? And then you said, uh, you said you were sitting down and you went, counted in your head, one, two, three, and then you went, Pete! <laughs> it's amazing. Do you know, I've got another wine. I've got, go got, oh, I've, I've, I've got to get off my chest. It's the shouting through walls. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's, well, you know, wife or, you know, or husband does this. But um, I I just don't understand it. Like, I, I'm downstairs, right? And you'll shout from the bedroom, right? So there's one wall. There's obviously the whole downstairs. There's another wall. And I'd be like in here. 
and you're shouting at me and then getting angry if I don't answer. Right, so I can hear you. But Why don't you come then? So I'm expected to come. Yeah, because I want to show you something. <laughs> no, it's, it's every day. There's always something. Pete, can... come and change this cat litter. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's one of the rudest things that you could possibly do. Yeah, but I'm not being it, rude. It, no, I think it's one of the rudest things. I think... Do you genuinely think I'm yeah. a rude person? No, I don't think you're a rude person, but I think that that is rude. I've had a few like um, high maintenance comments. On our, what, uh, on the pod? On our... Oh, Go ahead. God. Listen, they're getting to know us, babe. You're going to get a few of them. <laughs> I'm actually not high maintenance. Are you bad? Yeah, but... Are you insane? Yeah, but it's not like um, a high maintenance where you're like, oh my God, I can't stand her. No, it's I, like, I, it's like I, I love It's like an endearing... It's like an endearing high maintenance. <laughs> Has anyone ever had an endearing high maintenance? Yeah. You? <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I am. It's not endearing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just high maintenance. Do you know what, babe? You know, if you've got a top, top Ferrari, it's going to be high maintenance. It's going to cost you. And, you know, you're going to have to look after it. Nice analogy. Give you some skin for that one. <laughs> oh, that's actually... Arm arm. <laughs> no, it's this arm. Okay. I enjoyed that. Weekly wine. Nice. <laughs> it's good fun. Nice addition to the pod, I think. Yeah, it really was. Um, So... Let's talk about our wedding, the big day. The the, the day the old ball and chain got fitted. <laughs> <laughs> how how was it for you, big boy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like you're taking the piss there. Um, for me, I had a great day. Um, my friends, family, everyone connected to that wedding who went to it still talks about it to this day. And we mm. got married in 2011. That's a long time. Yeah. Were you ex- were you nervous or were you excited? I was not. Well, I I didn't realize how nervous I was until I was actually standing there. You know, we only had a hundred people there. It could have could have got bigger, but we were quite ruthless with our guest list. So everyone we invited to our wedding, like we, we've had parties where we've had to invite people that we don't really hang around with. But our wedding, everyone who was there, we wanted there. Mm-hmm. Now let me take you inside the Crouch Wedding, right? We got yeah. married at Stapleford Park in Leicestershire. Um, we wanted to get married somewhere else. Um, but that was perfect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because it had everything there. Like, we we went down on the Friday, played golf with the lads, and they had a uh, the golf course there. We they wanted a venue house. where everyone could stay, didn't we? Church was on the grounds, wasn't it? Mm. You know, everyone could stay. Like, it was like the girls stayed in their own cottage. Um, and the boys stayed in, in sort of the main hotel. When everyone was arriving, like you went down to the to the cottage, didn't you? And you all got yeah, okay, a few I kind of down there. Obviously, because we had a baby already, like Sophia was three months old, so the kind of tradition was out the window in that respect. <laughs> um, so I wanted to bring a little bit of that back. So I wanted to kind of like the girls to to do things and you know not sleep together um, the night before the wedding. Mm-hmm. Blah blah blah. He didn't go to sleep the night before the wedding. He decided to do an all-nighter the day before the wedding. So which... exciting though. You know, when everyone turns up, you haven't seen them for ages, all the lads, you know, your mates and everyone's got busy lives and everyone just kept arriving and, you know, it's like... You're trying to make it sound acceptable. <laughs> it wasn't acceptable. I, my brother was coming in at six o'clock in the morning because he, he had a school prom. And obviously he had the school prom and he was making his way from Liverpool after that. So like Pete's excuse was like, I've got to stay up, I've got to wait for John. Which is just a bare-faced lie. He was just having too much of a good time. Yeah, I had a crack, you know, like, and we were drinking the night before the wedding and I didn't even realise, but then it started getting light and I was thinking, oh God, <laughs> it's late. <laughs> I'm having a great time though. I, I was in bed. I had... I was in bed with my mom, my nan and Sophia, baby at the time. And I heard like laughing outside. So I like, ran to the window and looked out the window and there's Pete, three of his mates, our John, my other brother, Sean, all in the suits, my cousin. And I'm thinking, oh my God, I've slept in. Everyone's ready to, to go for the wedding. I was like, mom, get up. <laughs> my mom was like that the room. Woo, woo. 6 a.m., still up. So oh, I was just I like... I saw her at the window, right? So I've gone, I've, I've legged it back to the room. <laughs> and as I've legged it back, um, I, I've, I've run in the room, got back in and pulled the covers over me like that, right? And uh, anyway, I've gone, oh, and then she's come through the door and, and uh, I've looked out. gone... She's come through the door? I've gone, all right, babe. <laughs> oh, you okay? That's as if I've been asleep round. She ripped 
the cover off me. I had shoes, a full suit, and a bottle of Peroni. <laughs> I was so obsessed. I was been nabbed. I was so upset. I don't even think that's funny. I don't know. You can laugh. No, it's not funny. I know. I wasn't laughing either. I didn't. And I just thought the whole wedding was ruined. Then it started to torrential rain, and I was like, "Oh my god!" After that, like I remember you saying, the "Wedding's off." And I was like, "I'm, I'm not bogus. marrying yet." I said, "You know, that's totally disrespectful. We're getting married. We've spent all this money. We've got all our loved ones here, and I mean, and you're um, carrying on woeful." outside till six o'clock in the morning and then as I was like stormed out and was like running through the hotel like all his mates are like all coming down for breakfast at the golf stuff on like hi I was like fuck off <laughs> running past them <laughs> so I was so upset you were like calling me all day when you were playing golf weren't you just trying to apologize but obviously I had to let it go we were getting married at 4 p.m which was great you know 4 p.m you know it's a six o'clock finish <laughs> we're just 10 hours till the wedding and luckily Pete doesn't get hangovers. So if that was me, I would have missed my own wedding because I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> no, it was, um, I, I apologise for that. But like in my defence, I was incredibly excited about seeing, you know, people I hadn't seen, you know, my uncles and cousins and, mm. you know, your brother, your people that you just haven't seen and you're just having such a good time. And then obviously it's like the, it's the wedding before the wedding, isn't it? And then uh, we had a good time anyway. And then the next an day... an incredible barbecue, didn't we? And everyone was having food and drinks. And it was so nice. Then I left and we went with the girls. And then obviously the morning of the wedding was actually quite chilled. Yeah, because we didn't get married till four o'clock. And I'd recommend that. Like if anyone's... I, I think that's a good time. Everyone got up, was quite chilled, all having like a leisurely breakfast. Everyone was like so excited and happy. And then we had all the all the girls all together getting ready, like hair, makeup, all the dresses all together. It was just amazing. Um, my auntie was having a freak out that like everyone wasn't going to be ready in time and everyone's got to get the makeup done. And it was it was just, it was such a magical day. Like and everyone felt special, like getting, you know, I had my best mate, like, was my best man um, from school. And then my, my all my other mates from school as well, like, sort of five, six of us. Um, and they're just useless. Uh, <laughs> so I remember we had, had a beer and all that. And then I just remember going, like, because you're supposed to get in the car together with your best man, aren't you? And then yeah. go down. And I was just like, uh, Greg just left me. Yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was on my own. And none of the lads, they were just down there already. <laughs> my... <laughs> My bridesmaids. My bridesmaids left me as well. I came down with my we my nan was like in her nineties at this point. We got her the most incredible suit. My mum had blown all her hair and tonged it all, did it all gorgeous. And I remember getting in the car with my dad and my dad was like, Are you sure you want to do this? And give you I can give this driver twenty quid and uh we can take you back to Liverpool. I was like, it's going to cost more than 20 quid to get to Liverpool. <laughs> 20 quid. <laughs> but I remember just getting to the church, the flowers, you've never seen anything like the flowers. Like Rob Van Helden did the flowers. It, would ju it was just like something out of a movie, wasn't it, Pete? Yeah. It's just incredible. And I walked down and how this, can you just hold that glass? What, what, why are you balancing it like that on the cushion? <laughs> <laughs> lunatic. Because I don't want to... If I did that, how would you feel? Yeah, but I won't spill it. <laughs> it's making me nervous. I'll hold it then. So as I, as as you went into this chapel, the the seats were facing inwards, so everyone could look. But you weren't looking at the back of everyone. Everyone's eyes were on me as I, everyone's eyes were on me as I was walking. Yeah, it's amazing. In. Like teared like that. Like mm. yeah, it was beautiful. It was nice. It was nice. Different. Yeah, and I remember um, walking down. And just walking in and just screaming. I remember you, like, I was standing at the altar and um, Abby was, you were giggling the whole way down, weren't you? I know, because I get was that it nervous. Like a nervous giggle. And I, it, it felt like that aisle was like a mile long and I just wanted to get to you, like to safety at the end. I was like, ah! <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah. Nothing um, really matters, does it? Other than, you know, it's so special to just do your vows and be married. You don't really need yeah. all that, but... The, the party was good after, let's party be honest. Was as soon as we came out of there... It was all systems go, wasn't it? We had a... Um... Can you remember your vows? Uh, yeah, I remember writing them. On the day, probably. The day. <laughs> Were you writing them on the day? Yes. <laughs> I, wanted, I didn't know what to, what to do there. I wrote them on the day because I, I just wanted it to be fresh. Did you write them by yourself? Yeah, yeah. I wrote it all by myself, yeah. I'm not, I think I'm quite good at writing stuff. Do we happy? 
Yeah. Yeah, I thought they were good. Were you happy with mine? Yeah, very much so. Um, but you know, bizarrely, we got married officially the night before. Secretly. Yeah. Did you? So like, it was just us. Um, and I... officially went married, and then the next day was like just the service for everyone else, really, wasn't it? Which was which was a lovely way to do it. Yeah, because the um, I think the church wasn't like legal to actually marry someone. Oh. So we did so the for, legal stuff before. So for everyone who was there. They they thought that obviously we had the priest. They mm-hmm. it was a real wedding to them, but so we actually got a, a married just together the night before. And I hadn't I hadn't planned a dress for that. And I was like, oh my god, do I wear my wedding dress? And then you'd see the wedding dress before everyone else. So I, I wore like this like for the night time. I had this like long sleeve little lace backless mini. It was amazing. So I wore that. So now when we look back, the pictures look like really 70s. <laughs> Don't, they look like really rock and roll 70s. Re- really cool. Yeah, nice. Although we've never seen the pictures because no idea what the name of the photographer was or where the pictures are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just never... I, I can't believe that. I've got any pictures from the wedding, really. Uh, well, you do. Oh? Huh? No, I don't want them because they'll be fucking horrible. Because there was no such things like... We haven't seen them. She's... she's <laughs> so I didn't ever see them. <laughs> <laughs> and how did all the speeches go? Yeah, it was good. It was good. I mean, the music and stuff like that. Dion Dublin, believe it or not, threw out all our music for the. Dion Dublin's family are so talented musically. Yeah, like all his brothers play instruments and the piano, guitars, saxes, and inc- incredible yeah. singers. So I don't know how that came about, actually. Well, I spoke to Dion and I knew that he, he, said, he said, look, I'll get, I'll get the DJ, I'll sort it all out. And Dion sorted it. He brought his dupes as well. Yeah, the dupe. Yeah, the dupe. And yeah, he the also d- brought Beverly Knight. He <laughs> Beverly Knight out for us. Yeah, that was cool. And she sang. But the music was mega, wasn't it? Like, oh, from start to finish, everyone was on the dance floor. Oh, it, was, it was epic. Like, he, he asked me what, what we liked and they just nailed it, you know? And it was just, that was just like a stress that was taken away. Like, to be fair, Dion just took that on and... Um, absolutely smashed it, didn't he? Mm. It was great. He was last man standing as well, wasn't he? Yeah, he was, was he? funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny because the DJ oh said to God. me, didn't he? He said that if you, you know, when, when you leave, it, 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 it's done. No, you were like, can you do another hour? Can you do another hour? And he was like, okay, when you go to bed, I'm done. And we literally walked out the marquee and then it went, <laughs> the music and you could hear everyone going, boo. No. <laughs> he was literally, mind you, we were late though, weren't we? Considering yeah. I did the big one the night before. We, my I mates, just didn't want my it to end. to bed. <laughs> They was a bit early, didn't they? Yeah. Do you remember? Your mates were so boring on that wedding. Because <laughs> they had a big one the night before. They were literally all in bed by like 10. <laughs> they went to bed. Yeah, I, I think the only sort of, well, there was a few incidents. Yeah. Um, you know, that it's always going to happen. There was a lot of people drinking. Um, I'll be the, drinking. The main incident was the golf buggy. Do you remember the golf, the golf buggy? I had no idea about that golf buggy thing. I neither do I until I got the bill for it. <laughs> <laughs> that was you, John, wasn't it? <sighs> I was on the car at one stage, but you know, I remember Jason, right? Who's our, who's our mate? He, J- Jason's privy to a golf breaking a golf buggy. Yeah, well, he jumped across my lap, and I'm in the driver's seat, and <laughs> he jumps across my lap and pressed the accelerator. His, so his face is in the footwork. <laughs> but so I'm driving, and he's he's going right. So there's no brakes now. So I'm like Jason, no! we're driving this thing round, and like there's no brakes, so he can't even see. So he doesn't know when to take it off or what. That's dangerous. So anyway, we, we managed to survive that. And I went, Phew, Jay, I said, we've, don't do that again, mate. We've got away with that one. Anyway, and the next day, it was written off. <laughs> right? Was so, it like... Um... So I had an inkling that something might have happened. Because they said, look, the golf bug is finished. And it, you, you, know, you lot had it. And I said, I'm well, there was the that one... Oh, he is a scouser. Yeah. I was going to say, normally with the Scousers, I got the blame for that. But he is. He is a Scouser. <laughs> well, to be honest, all the people that were reckless on the golf buggy were Scousers. Who else was on it then? And me. Who else was on it? <laughs> Sean, John, Jason. Was Carl on it? Probably. Carl and Jay, Marcus. Yeah, and listen, you know, they well, were on it. It's because it was the most fun, that's why. <laughs> Those Scousers. It's not, not a party, that one. Say that again. So to this day, for us and for everyone who was there, they still talk about it as being one of the best parties and oh, occasions they've been to. It was it was, it was just it incredible. Was and it was just having everyone we love in the same room. So happy, obviously. I think because I'd had the baby, J- 
just before the wedding, my focus was on the baby. So I kind of lost about all of that like stress and worrying. I was mm-hmm. kind of to the, uh, got to the point where I was like, wherever I'll be, I'll be. Do you know what I mean? I'm just, I'm not going to stress. I'm just going to enjoy it. Because, you know, my my attention was on the baby and like the wedding planners like sorted most of it out. So a lot of it on the day was a surprise to me, like walking into that room and seeing the tables and seeing the flowers. Like, I think we had a few meetings with the, with Rob, didn't we? And then he kind of just created this masterpiece. It was weird. It was, it was like this kind of mist over the, all the tables. Oh. And then the flowers were, you know, I'm, I'm not flowers man, you know what I mean? But like they make it, they literally mm. made it. And that mist over the thing, and then obviously like the music player and like coming in, it was just it looked the room looked spectacular, didn't it? Spectacular. Yeah. Every everything was just gorgeous and it was so well done. Um The photo booth on the dance floor was a good oh, yeah. you've got the book and some of the pictures are fantastic. Pictures. Yeah, so it just started off like with really lovely pictures and everyone was like, Pete and Abby. Uh, the lovely couple I hope you have the best wedding and then by the end people had tires around their head like boobs out like <laughs> Mooney, licking each Mooney's other's faces and, uh, it was absolute carnage and yeah. then they were all like we hope you split up next week party <laughs> shit you know like it just got from like lovely with progressively worse progressively deteriorated but they're my favourite pictures of the whole yeah, yeah they were just great and everyone was having a great time you know what they've got some great agony abs today okay um, and they are wedding related so it might get our memory going on ours a bit. Um, this one is major problem, dilemma regarding bridesmaids. They don't have pipe up them cows. <laughs> Honestly. Mine, I'd say like you're wearing this dress. You'd be like, I'm not wearing that. I'm like, you're doing what you're told. End yeah, of. Yeah, it's true. Well, anyway, it's, she goes on. I had a friend that would always have been uh, my bridesmaid, but this year she's shown her true colours. She's now bottom of the list. However, it does feel as though she's expected to be asked to be one as, as she's even mentioned about going dress shopping shopping with me uh-huh. she's staying with me the night before um, and the night of the wedding we are renting a little cottage so only me and my fiance would be staying the night um, of the wedding of I've tried to be polite and give subtle hints that it's a no and I've distanced myself a lot from her but I can't help feeling bad and now I feel like I have to have her as my bridesmaid I know she'd be high maintenance and it's always her way or the highway. I hate hurting people's feelings so any help would be great on how to approach this situation. So not again. It's the same person again. (laughs) (laughs) Um, It is a hard one because I've never been a bridesmaid. Which Don't want to shove up the bride. (laughs) No, because none of my friends are married. Literally. None of them. Well, Kaz is. But no, no, you, you're no not prize, oh, she got married before. Well, I didn't actually get Kaz as my best friend. I didn't even go to her wedding because it was when we first got together um, and I didn't want, I was just obsessed with you. Yeah. I should have went. Happens. Um, it happens. Not the best. <laughs> yeah. I, could, I, can't, I still can't believe it to this day. I didn't go. So, and all my other friends aren't married. But if, if I was a bridesmaid, and this is the God's honest truth, I would just be so happy to be the bridesmaid and it's the bride's day, I would wear anything. Everyone... Ex- Bollocks. <laughs> no. If a, bride, if a bride gave you a horrific yeah, dress, but it right? And but it, you, would, that, yeah, it makes me happy. Yeah, but it's not that. just a bride, is it? If, you, if you're someone's bridesmaid, you're obviously a really, really good friend. Mm. So have a you, good friend you wouldn't... Steer, if, you, if you said she, this is the dress that everyone's wearing and you went, that is horrific. Yeah, but... How would, would you wear it? I would wear it because I'd just rock it. <laughs> I'd hope yeah. I'd rock it. But you, I think you'd, you would stress to her that. I don't think we should wear I couldn't. these. Because no, if you think about my mates who, who would potentially get married, I definitely wouldn't hurt their feelings. It's not like you, it's not like you just... It's like some girl's dress you're wearing. It's your best friends, do you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't. What, do you, what would you do on this situation for a nun? I'd just say, look, it's, it's my wedding. I want to spend my wedding night with my husband. Obviously. Obviously. And just for the bridesmaids, you know, she could she could just say, look, this is, this is how I see the, my... Wedding and you're, you're not, not in you're not in you're not under. I think honesty is the best policy in this situation, um, which honesty hasn't been the best policy all the time on the Agony app. No, <laughs> we no. have told people to lie before, yeah. but on the, in this occasion, I think you do have to say. But it, it is hard because you are hurting people's feelings. But it's her wedding at the end of the day. She has to, you, you know. But but the, the way she's talking is like she doesn't want to be, even be a friend. So I think you do have to broach this situation and. 
be honest and say, look, I say, think look we haven't been getting on well lately. I haven't been happy with how this relationship's gone. You know, I want to scale back my wedding and I think I'd love to have you there, but just as a guest. Yeah, perfect. absolutely fine. I, I think I think all hell could break loose, but I think at least it should be nice. Well, hopefully she does and then she can say, well, actually, you're not coming to the whole wedding. Bang. And then she'll be... Boss. Job done. Job done. Got to the bottom of that one. Good. Here's Gary from Burnley. Let's go straight on to him. Oh God, uh, do but... it in a Burnley accent. <laughs> I don't think I can do Burnley, really. Burnley. First of all, love the pod. <laughs> Your fiance and I really bonded over the fact that you guys have a lot of the same gripes as each other as we do. Uh, but I do friendly. have an issue I need your help with. Crouch. I've got gone scouse there. I'm thinking you may be well equipped with this one. Basically, I'm getting married in a few months and nearer the date comes, the more my best man keeps winding me up how much he's going to stitch me up in his speech. Oh, God. <laughs> Classic. I know this is quite a normal thing to do. However, my best mate... <laughs> he's an absolute... so long. Keep it's going, so long. Going. Carry on. He's an absolute lunatic. And it is definitely within his wheelhouse to go well too far with this. You're actually really... You know, we've <laughs> been... <laughs> Seems to be getting better. You know, we've been having loads of messages that Pete Scouse now. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's go. Let's keep going. Come on, go, it go. seems to be getting go better. On. We are both a bit nutty in our youth. And whilst I have never lied to my future wife, there are definitely a few sexy skeletons in my closet. And I was hoping not to be revealed, including a very night eventful night in Bangkok. Ooh. Which I'm now concerned could blow back up in my face. <laughs> Every time I confront him about it, he just laughs in my face and says, it's happening whether I like it or not. And to be prepared myself for a one-day marriage. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> He's been my best friend for as long as he can remember. And now I'm really worried I might have to bench him. Bench what, him? What should I do? Thanks, Gary from Burnley. <laughs> Course, his name's Gary. Gary from Burnley. Oh God! I took a lot of effort. That I don't even even know if it's right. I've been up there. I hope it is right. But anyway, Kelsey's from Burnley, isn't she? Yeah, it's right. Oh, it's a good accent. Oh. I like that accent. It's friendly. Yeah. I don't know if I'd fancy you with that. Would <laughs> you not? Mm -mm. What if I was Gary from Burnley? <laughs> mm, don't think so. No. No. Really? No. Ah. Oh. I'm joking. It's a nice friendly accent, isn't it? It is a nice friendly accent. I'm joking. Um, I didn't. I didn't really take that in. I was too busy trying to do. So basically, Gary. he's worried about getting stitched up by his best man. Well, in the speech, yeah. Uh, I think plenty of people have. If you've got a loose cannon of a best man, it's it, it can be difficult. Is he's that a, why you pick Greg? Because he's the quietest <laughs> no, he's one. A, he's a good guy. Like <laughs> no, I know he's your best. You've got like five best friends though. But did you pick Greg because you knew that he wouldn't stitch you because he's like very like. Polite and no, no, not at all, not at all. No, not but at all. so were you not worried about getting stitched? No, at all. Worried about getting stitched? It's not to bro stitch code. you up with. What is it? Was it bro code? Is that the word? <laughs> yeah. Bro code. Bros before hoes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's going to stitch him. I'd, surely not. You'd like to think so, but I think he unless knows... he fancies his wife to be and is trying Ooh. to break them up. <laughs> I think he knows his best mate better than we do, obviously. So. If he thinks that he could potentially do that, then you've got to, you've well, got to switch him out. Well, what he could just say is, "Look, you're, I'm I'm wait, I'm excited for my big day, and I'm worried that you're going to tell all our Bangkok secrets to my future wife. So, because of that, I'm going to have Mark be my best man instead, and yeah. you can just attend the wedding because that's not a risk I'm willing to take. Fair enough. I think that's fine. I do. Job, right. Gary, sorted. See you later, Gary. Gary. <laughs> Gary from Burnley. <laughs> Cheers, Gary. Right, this one's to you, babe. Hi, Abby. My fiancé and I are getting married this summer. We couldn't be more excited. However, we've hit a snag. His little brother is planning to propose to his partner on our <gasps> wedding day. No The entire way. family is in on it and they're planning a big proposal at my actual wedding. They hate her. They Can hate her. Can you believe her. the nerve? I can. I can. I, I've spoken to my boyfriend about it, but he seems to be shrugging it off. Yeah, because he's 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 weak. He's a twat he's as weak. well. No, he's not a twat. He's just weak, <laughs> and it'll be from the mother. It'll be from the mother, 
and the mother will hate the, the daughter to in law and she's and she it. is trying to cock it all sabotage off. he's always been a bit of a victim in his family you see to make matters worse their plan is to use candles confetti and even my wedding band <laughs> the one I spent so long picking out to play their song Oh, and, the, sorry, I thought you meant the wedding band. I thought he was going to take his ring off. <laughs> no, 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 the band, the actual band. They're going to play the wedding song. I know my, I might uh, come across as a bit of a bridezilla, but I've been dreaming of this day my entire life and it's not part of the plan. How can I tell that little wedding crasher to back off? Sincerely, Stacey, 28 from Nottingham. That is disgusting. That is apps. That's made me so angry, that story. Really? I can't believe no one out of the family has sense checked that and just gone. Well, I can. You know that you know where that's that it's it, it's it's just because oh no it's because they don't like her that's exactly what it is because why would you do that there's no there's no good to come out of that like let's be let's be honest it's not even funny yeah like like it's he's, not he's, nice. he's gonna propose at the wedding day what maybe the day after no nothing to do with their wedding just What's stay it? away and do your own thing yeah yeah valid point. I just think that's so, like, you know, a wedding is one of the biggest days of your life and she's planning it and excited. She's got all her loved ones there as well. It's literally getting gazumped. It's just awful. But yeah, um, Stacey, if you don't do something about this, I will. <laughs> I feel so strongly about Stacey, this. Stacey, get in touch because you've got uh, someone on your side here and Ab will do it. <laughs> she will come down to I'm Nottingham and sister. she will sort this. I think she should invite everyone around for a Sunday roast. Except the... the future fiance mm. and say look this is not happening on my wedding because you know get them all in the same room or set up a group set up a whatsapp group called not no way this is fucking happening on my <laughs> wedding day <laughs> <laughs> what name of the group no way my day no way my day no way my day <laughs> No, I like your one your one was no, better I need to stop swearing. this is not fucking just... happening on my wedding day group <laughs> Yeah, it's no, a great, great name of a group. That I, I actually don't know. She's not hysterical crying over there. Do you know what you should do? We should get not uh, Stacey's details right, and you send a what's his the little a, a video. brother called? You send Dweeb. a video. You send a video to I Stacey. I hate her brother. And then that she brother. can put it in the, this. No way, this is happening on my fucking wedding day group. And put your video in saying this is a joke. Don't do this. It's not allowed. Yeah, but I, I'd have to be serious yeah. because it's absolutely horrific. What's All this right. little brother called anyway? Um, but your name's Dave. <laughs> <laughs> she should just send them this podcast. Uh, I just think it's terrible. This absolutely yeah. do nothing. I, I'm not as passionate about it as you, oh, I but I, I don't think it's good. No. Um, but well, Stacey, if, you, if we were getting married and like all the family was there, and our, our Sean said, "I'm going to propose to Steph now," and then our whole wedding gets thrown out the window. You're married, and then the whole party is celebrating their engagement. <laughs> It's so bad. Oh, no, I agree with you. Agree with you. And it's it's actually hurtful. Yep. Agreed. Okay, moving on. Stace, I've got you. DM me. I'll call you. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so well done, Agony Ab. I, I really think we're getting somewhere with this and really helping the nation. <laughs> I do. So well done I for do. that. Awesome. Well, we're normal people giving normal advice. Yeah. And I think it's really we're helping. We're not experts. It's like speaking, it's like a, take it, it's like a, a friend's advice. Mm. Which is always the best. So, do you know uh, something what? that's been blowing up a little bit on my phone <clears> at the moment is debunk beats. Um, I can't listen to Swedish House Mafia anymore without, um, without going. Daddy's got it here for you. <laughs> <laughs> I've had loads of messages <laughs> from people saying, "Daddy's got it here for you" and all that. It's killed Swedish House. I don't Mafia. even know what that is. Well, do you remember when we did it? Yeah, I do, but I don't know. Daddy's got it here. You made it up. Yeah, yeah. But it's a lot, of, it's ruined that song for a lot of people. Oh, okay. Is what I'm getting at. So, so we're not allowed to play uh, songs on the podcast due to license and. Well, we can, we can. We just don't want to pay anyone, so we're not. Okay. <laughs> but we can. What, what about Bonky Oki? <laughs> Bonky Oki. <laughs> Bong Beats is the original. But it's been some belters. No, but I'm saying we can, you can sing. You don't get in trouble for actually singing the song. No, we can sing it. We'll sing it. Yeah. Bonky Oki. Bonky Oki. <laughs> and we are going to set up a playlist, a public playlist for people but to But we are going to set up our... Um, a playlist. Are... Yeah. What's up? Do you know what I've realised from our listeners? Um, by, by, by these song choices, 
They're perverted. <laughs> <laughs> our listeners are perverted. I love our listeners. <laughs> I've got some friends now of us. Yeah. Oh, it's shaking all of them. Right, so I've got a few here, babe. Do you want to hear some? Yeah. Uh, my bonk beats. Uh, my bonk beats are a Spanish song. My girlfriend's Spanish, so we have them on. But I need to. Um, I just don't think to music is the way forward. It just actually makes me feel ill. I just. Yeah, music. You don't put it on and then go to do the deed. If it's just Wait, on, do you know what? Do you know it's on. What the funniest part of that is? I just think of the rock. Do you know what the funniest part of that is? Is when you do go to put it on. And it, you know what's coming, it's honey. It's the first second after it comes on, I reckon. It's like, what bass do you do? It's like, it comes on and you go... Uh, <laughs> like, do you do a sensual one or do you go... <laughs> it's on. Because <laughs> you know what's going to happen. Like, No, you don't. So you turn the tune on then go... Or do you, do you, do you... Like, how do you get into that next bit there? I can honestly say I've never been, like, on a date where they put music on. No, but I think it's interesting hearing people's... Bonk beats. No, but I don't want people to think we've got a bonk beat. Well, we have now. It's Swedish House Mafia. <laughs> Definitely haven't. <laughs> Daddy's <laughs> got it here for <laughs> you. <laughs> Disgusting. I go. Um, I've got the two <clears throat> best songs for the bedroom. Okay. Says, um, if you're down to just get down, you've got to go for Chris Brown. Privacy. Ugh. Definitely not. Yeah, bonk songs. Oh, another one here is quite a popular one. Pony, Genuine. And freak me another level. Oh, um, that's such a tune, but not. It's an absolute tune, right? But if I if I just went, if I just put it on and went, freak, freak me, baby. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. that. Freak me, baby. <laughs> Let me lick you up and down till you say stop. I think you'd vomit. In my I would. Face. And vomit. Um, pony, yeah, even now, I think it's a bit much, isn't it? Run it, my pony. It's like a comedy sketch, isn't it? No? It's not, I don't think it's. I, don't I just think don't know who these people are. Sexual. <laughs> sexual. It's fans. very sexual. No, very sexual, but I think it's cheesy, isn't it? I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, it, I'm not like Marvin Gaye vibes or something, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I feel like we've helped a lot of people there. Um, you know, we've chatted know. about the. We've chatted about the wedding which was obviously a beautiful day. It's nice to think back to our wedding, especially after we've just renewed our vows as well. It's nice to think of the, you know, our first wedding where we only had um, Sophia there to have an our wedding with all of our kids present, which was just so magical for them, wasn't it? We actually haven't talked about that one. No, but yeah, listen, the wedding was great. Um, you know, hopefully we've helped a few people. The agony app was good. We had a wine club and you wore a baby grow through the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> So thanks for listening, guys. Um, yeah, thanks. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm getting so many messages. Um, I, I see these clips. We're going to watch the full episode. So for anyone who doesn't know, we are on YouTube and it's The Therapy Crouch on YouTube. And you can actually subscribe to be notified when the episodes are live. So I, I recommend you do that because I think it's, uh, it's good. <laughs> Thanks for that, Abigail. Um, yeah, follow us on our social media, uh, therapycouch.com. Get in touch. So guys, if you enjoyed that, we've got so much more content on our YouTube channel. Click here to subscribe and click here for more videos.